Hey guys, this is Autumn from It's Autumn's Life, and today I wanted to do a video uh, to start my new project that I'm doing called Conversations. So as you may or may not know if you've been following me on social media for a while, I'm a convert. So I get a lot of questions on my social media asking me how did I convert. Um, so I thought I would make this video to start off the Conversations project by telling you my own conversion story. And then inshallah in the next coming weeks I'll be talking to some other converts and getting their stories and their perspectives on things and I'm really excited to uh, upload those and get your feedback. So let's get started with my conversion story. So actually I converted really young. I was 15 and I was almost 16 so it was pretty near my 16th birthday and you know there's no right time to convert, so it's kind of a blessing for me that I was able to convert that young. But basically, uh, there's not really anything that interesting about my story. I was attracted to religion from a young age. My family wasn't religious when I was younger, and we would just basically celebrate the holidays. And I just felt like I should be doing more starting from like age 12 and I used to actually go to a small church down my street by myself and uh, after a while I wasn't really feeling the connection so I stopped going and then I was you know I think in sixth grade about that time <clears throat> I met a Muslim girl who was Palestinian and she wore hijab that was the first time I had ever really met a Muslim or knew anything about Islam or what it was I had no idea so she kind of opened my eyes to it existing so in that time I actually had a course called I think it was like world history or I don't know something about world something and there was a section in there where we studied all the major world religions so Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism and I was really interested because, like I said, I don't know why, but I just always felt connection to religion and I wanted to know more. So in that time, I read about Islam and I was so interested and I just kept reading by myself. And I was also becoming better friends with this Palestinian girl who I would met. I didn't really talk to her much about Islam. You know, when you're in middle school or like, you know, around that age, you don't really want to seem different. So I don't think she wanted to make me feel awkward or, you know, feel like she's pushing anything on me. So we didn't really talk much about it. But weirdly enough, subhanAllah, like things were just so easy for me at that time. The masjid was just a few blocks from my house. So I used to go on Fridays to meet with my friend there because they had special days on Fridays where they would have potlucks and they would give khutbah. And uh, I used to just go and sit there uh, you know, just just hang out basically and then at the same time I would be hearing the khutbahs and it was really interesting for me and it just got me more interested. You know, I went out, I bought a Quran, I started reading it. I didn't tell my friend much about this at the time either but I was just kind of doing my own um, self-exploration about that. So after I read the whole Quran, I was feeling, you know, for myself that, yeah, I feel a connection to this. I feel like this is what's right, this is what I need to do. So I called my friend up and I was like, you know, I feel like Islam is for me. I feel like I want to convert and become a Muslim. She was really shocked, like I said, you know, I hadn't talked to her about anything at that time because, you know, we were young and it's just, it's just kind of like religion is not something you talk about when you're that young. It seems like very, you know. She was shocked, but you know, she didn't push me to convert. She wanted to make sure that I had the right intentions, that I really wanted to do this, because it's a big step. And, uh, you know, shortly after, I converted. So I said jihada, and alhamdulillah, I became a Muslim. And yeah, that was basically my whole story, you know. I, I was really lucky that I came into contact with some Muslims that were really kind to me. I used to go to that masjid and just hang out, even though I wasn't Muslim, you know. Um, they they let me come and hang out with them. I got to, you know, eat delicious food and just learn about the religion. 
And I mean, I used to come and I was totally not appropriately addressed now that I look back on it. <laughs> but they never said anything unkind to me, you know, they just let me come in and learn. And I think that was the most positive thing about uh, how I was able to learn so much in such a little time. So yeah, alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim now. It's been so many years since then. But um, yeah, that's that's basically the story. It's not that interesting, to be honest. Like it's just literally I studied and I felt a connection and then I became a Muslim. But alhamdulillah, you know, I was really lucky because I converted young. It allowed me to like stay out of a lot of things that were bad for me. And um, once I went to college and everything, it was nice uh, to have that support group in the masjid, meet Muslim friends. So I've had, you know, an easy time in my life as a Muslim in that way. So it was really just a huge blessing. Like, and especially when I think back on it now, um, my family was not very religious at that time. So me exploring my own religious options was easy for me because they didn't um, push me uh, with any issues and I know a lot of converts have that problem where their family gives them a hard time and unfortunately they're reliant on their parents and their family so practicing their religion is a hardship for them but for me like I was so lucky that I didn't have those issues now later on um, I do have some issues with my family but since I converted at such a young age you know I got married when I was in college and I have my own family, I don't live with my family anymore, so those hardships are not as hard for me. Whereas if I had been, you know, younger and having issues with my parents, that would have been really hard. I can't imagine, you know, some converts go through serious, serious problems with their parents. They can't, you know, wear hijab, they can't fast in Ramadan, they can't be openly reading Quran, like they can't. They have to pretend they're not Muslim, basically, and that is so sad to me, you know. I understand that people have their own beliefs, but one of the things that I appreciate is the freedom to choose. And I think Allah gave me, you know, a blessing, a huge blessing, because I was able to convert so young. And it allowed me not to have hardships because my family wasn't religious at that time. And then subhanAllah, now that I'm older, I have some issues, but I've already, you know, become not as dependent on my parents anymore. So while it is still hard, it's not as hard as it could be. So I'm always praying for the converts who have issues like that because I can't imagine what they go through. Uh, it's already, you know, hard to make such a big decision by yourself, but to be ostracized by family is just... It's just horrible, so, you know, I'm always praying, inshallah, you know, help help those converts out there going through um, hardship. So, that was my conversion story. Uh, inshallah, in the next few weeks, like I said, I'm going to be uh, uploading some uh, interviews with other converts, telling their story. Um, and I hope people can get some comfort from that and learn more about the struggles that converts go through and how they can be supported and just seeing I think seeing how different people come to the religion is so interesting uh, a law works in mysterious ways so yeah it's definitely uh, a booster and I know for me personally connecting with other converts and becoming friends with those people is really helpful for me personally so yeah, inshallah, uh, I'll upload those soon, so uh, subscribe, like this video if you want to see more, and then look out for my new videos which should be up uh, within a week or two. So yeah, see you later. Bye!